Let's join the family of Mrs. Matilda Ohuabunwa for her burial. The event took place in Botakot and Arochuku in Abia State. The celebration of life of late Mrs. Matilda Ohuabunwa started with a series of songs. Mrs. Ohuabunwa passed on at the age of 90 in Port Harcourt, River State. Although from Abia State, Mrs. Ohabunwa spent most of her life here in Port Harcourt, so it was only appropriate to begin the activities of our final journey here in the family compound. Late Mrs. Ohabunwa's 11 children were joined by their friends and sympathizers to give their beloved mother a befitting send forth. While she was alive, Mrs. Ohavuma was said to be a lover of hymns, and they sure honored her with some of the best. of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an eighth angel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. event because it will take me a year to talk about mama but i'm going to miss mama her legacies like you had mama will always come to your house first what my house you every sunday mama will want you to go to church mama will want you to read the bible wake up in the morning i want to pray with you and your family definitely we're going to miss her when her mother was a woman who cared loved us who cared for people and who made us to believe and know what it means to be a Christian. You know, that's what they call Christians. But my mother was the first to become born again. And we understood that born again is not a word or a slogan. It is in character. The next day, the body of the late Matilde Ohavunwa made a brief stopover at her home. And then to St. Andrew's Anglican Church, also in Port Harcourt, for a commendation service in her honor.
Inside, guests arrive to join in the service, including the governor of River State, Nyesa Mwike, the former governors of the state, Tao Dili and Celestia Mehia, Director General of Namasa, Dakoku Peter Sai, were amongst some of the special guests who joined the family in their moment of grief. Today we celebrate a mother who led the family to Christ. Mama was the first to become a born-again Christian in the family, and she had encouraged all of us, including Papa, to belong to Christ. She was a praying woman who loved to praise God. There is evidence that God heard her prayers and has shown to her so much mercy and through her to the family by her prayers. The celebration of Mother Matilda Harbunwa continued in her hometown, Arochuku, in Abia State. So the governor of the state, Okeze Pazu, was at the event to sympathize with the family. Yes, it is painful to lose the mother, and the vacuum, as always, is usually difficult, if not impossible to fear. But to take solace in the fact that she lived a worthy life. A life worthy of immigration. And then again, God has blessed her with wonderful children that are capable of taking her name on the sands of time. The National Assembly was well represented, led by the Senate President, Dr. Bukola Saaki. They're here to support one of their own, Senator Mao Ohabuma, one of the sons of Madame Matilda Ohabuma. Matilda Habuma was interred in her family compound. According to her children, she will be remembered as a devoted Christian, a prayer warrior, a selfless mother with a legacy which the children promised to continue to uphold. Mm -hmm. 